I got some more parts delivered for the truck. Let me show you. So this you ordered from Summit. But it's made out of a company in Florida. I think. Yeah. But it's made by Real Deal Steel out of Sanford, Florida. So it's a reproduction 50 steering wheel. Here it is. 55, 56 Chevy Bel Air. That's what he wanted. So that's what he got. So I went with black and chrome. Black's gonna match the steering column. Col the chrome is gonna match the accoutrements. Ex the chrome, the chrome will match the accessories, basically. And they supplied a horn switch kit. And the hardware to hold the steering wheel pieces to the steering wheel. So this comes from Performance Hot Rod and Customs, Boonville, Indiana. So I ordered this off a Chevy of the 40s. And then they gave me a phone call to go over all of the stuff I wanted. So 37 to 53 Chevy pickup, automatic transmission, internal trans cooler with a shroud, a fan, billet motor cover, AC condenser, and a logo cap. So it's a little bit heavier than it looks, but it's an all aluminum radiator. They installed the condenser for the air conditioner it bolts to the front we'll take this cardboard out before we go and then on the back it's got a full shroud with a fan and then this cool little cover and then it comes with their billet radiator cap bungs for transmission lines and then a drain line drain hole and then they supply the bracketry the fittings relay for the fan switch thermal switch for the fan relay it's all there so have it built all in one place you don't have to piece it together as much. So I think since we got this out, we might as well just go ahead and put it on. I don't think it'll be in the way too much. I got to run the lines anyway. So I think that's what we'll do today is install this radiator.
so I'm using stainless hardware with nylock nuts on the bottom so they don't back out. So I'm hanging up a little bit right here. So I'm going to do something about that. That should get me where I want to be as far as height wise goes I need to be able to come over okay cool rolling got a letter this morning how are you reckon it red Say, hurry, hurry, yeah, your love is dead. I said, I got a letter this morning. How are you reckon it real? No, I said, hurry, hurry, the guy you love is dead. Grab my suitcase, took off down the road. Got down there, I laid out on that cooling board. I said, I grab my suitcase. To go off down the road. I got down there, she was laid out on that cooling bowl. Well, I walked right close, looked down in her face, said a good old girl got led to the judgment day. I said, I got right close, looked down in her face. Well, a good old girl got laid out. To the judgment day Look like there's 10,000 people Standing around the bank ground Didn't know I loved you Till they laid it down Look like there were 10,000 people Standing around the bank ground I said I didn't know how much I loved her Till they laid her down Lord help 
have mercy on my wicked soul Wouldn't mistreat my baby for my wedding gold I said, Lord, have mercy on my wicked soul I will mistreat my baby for my wedding gold When I fold my arms, slowly walked away I said, fairly well, honey, see you on judgment day. I said, I fold up my arms and slowly walked away. I said, fairly well, fairly well, see you on judgment day. You know, I went to my room, I bowed down to pray. Blues came along, drove my spirit away. I said, I went into my room. Bow my head to pray. I said the blues came along, Lord, drove my spirit away. You know I didn't feel so bad till the good old sun went down. Didn't have a soul, throw my arms around. Said I didn't feel so bad. The good old sun went down. That's when I didn't have no soul Throw my arms around I said I loved you, baby Like I love myself You don't have me You won't have nobody else I said I love you, baby Then I love myself I can't have you, baby when You can't have nobody else You know it's hard I love someone who don't love you I said it's hard, it's so hard Love someone that don't love you Ain't no satisfaction Don't care what in the world you do Got up this morning Just about to break a day Hug that pillow Where she used to lay I said I woke up this morning about to break the day I said I was a hugging that pillow where my girl used to lay woke up this morning feel around for my shoes you know my dad but I had more oh walking blues I said I woke up this morning feel around for my shoes I said, you know about that, baby, huh? I had them all walking blue. Y'all cried last night and the night before. Got to change my way of living so I don't cry no more. I said, I cried last night now and on the night before. Change my way of living. I don't have to cry no more. Ah, uh, I thought I heard her call my name oh, It was so loud, it was so nice and clean I said, oh, hush Thought I heard her call my name If it wasn't so loud, Lord It's so nice and plain Well, listen Whatever you do There is one thing, honey Try to get along with you I said, now, nah, listen Oh, whatever you do There is one thing, honey I try to get along with you But every minute seemed like I was in the I seemed like they It seemed like good old gal Don't stop to low down ways I said, man, it seemed like I was I seemed like they Oh, my good old gal Don't stop to her low down cheating way. You know, love's a hard on phone. Make you do things you don't want to do. I said, love's a hard on phone. Make you do things you don't want to do. Well, love sometimes make you feel sad and blue. I said, well, I love sometimes. 
Make it feel sad and blue So when we look at this This side is not straight, right? It's tapered At an angle so we can line up the front, but the back is tilted. So my gaps are 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters. I've got a nice little clearance around the radiator cap. And then it's sticking out 27 millimeters from here to here. Well, I measured here on both sides. Actually, the other side's 29, so it's off by two. Two millimeters. So the best I can figure is uh, they supply you with the hardware to attach it to the side. So I got this piece in here. I pull it up. I line it up. And then I drew an edge. So I could take this, lay it down, lay that on top, and then I got to do measurements to figure out where my bolt holes are so it's not just to open it and slap it on there kind of job but I think I'm ready I think I mean I'll never get it lined up like that again but once we get it in there a little bit of adjustment depending on the size of your bolt hole. Oh. Um, it's all I can figure. Maybe next, maybe you could talk them into sending this. And they could mount the whole thing. But I got it. So take it over to the bench and see what the fuck. So this is the best I can think. Right, so I drew this out. If I line this up like so, and then <laughs> measure like this off of the line to the center of the bolt between 13 and 14 millimeters
stupid, but it's okay. Let's drill some holes, see what happens. God damn. Stainless.
Will you shine so bright? Come on strong. One day here and the next day gone. Will you? One day here and the next day gone. One day here and the next day gone. No! <sighs> it can't be that heavy. It's heavy. Heavier than it looks. And it's awkward. So good. How'd you line them up like that? A little mark on the back. But it's lined up with the core support. Oh, you drew a mark on the back. Oh. Drew the core support. Sorry, frankly. You think I guessed? PBI, yeah. I, I just guessed. guessed. One, two, three. Cardboard is from when they built it. We'll pop those loose and take it out. Got my clearances over. Clearance right there. Condensers just barely touching, but it's all one piece, so it'll be fine. And it's not touching. There's a gap. Good. So before I can hook up hoses, which is not really that important, um, gonna get 15 degree come up over and fade, run towards that. You probably saw it earlier on my. Sun law came over. So then the other thing is temperature sender for the radiator. So there's not a temperature sender bung on the radiator. You got drain and then transmission lines. So temperature sender 
the, there's three options on small block Chevy. Well, there's more than three. There's a couple options. Let's put, let's put it. Blah, blah, blah. There's a couple options on small block Chevy. So we got to utilize this one for the EFI. So we're going to leave that one alone. You can buy a water neck with a temperature cinder bone or and there's one right here between number one and number three And then there's one right here between six and eight. We'll probably end up using both of them. One for the fan assembly, temperature sender, and then probably one for a gauge. So, there's no shortage of opinions on which one to use, right? If you use the one in here up on top, then you gotta wait for the thermostat to open. You're not getting a good reading. I think, you know, most accurate is going to be what's the head temperature because that's where all the work's being done. So I'll probably use that. That's a pretty good look. I like it. I'm going to call it right here. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.